What's up everybody? How you doing out there? It's your boy Derek Pretty Boy Dow. Pretty boy the Panther growl for me, ladies. Growl. Uh-oh. <laughs> and welcome to another show live from Sour Apple. You know, it's the question of the day show where we issue you a question and you hop up on that blog site www.lapnation.blogspot.com. Exactly. Tell us what you think. Now today I'm I'm just I'm pleasured and honored once again to have an actress beautiful actress that I've worked with a few times actually she sings too I didn't even know she had that talent until as of recently recently being a few seconds ago <laughs> and you know just so so we're gonna let her get it in so ladies and gentlemen without further ado Miss Valerie Meacham hello there I am Valerie Meacham as Derek tells you I'm an actress here in the Chicago area I do some film I've done some web series stuff I do a lot of theater right now I am rehearsing uh, Midsummer Night's Dream with Storefront okay. Shakespeare Company out in Geneva I am playing Titania the very queen fairy queen very glam I have fairy minions to order around. I uh -oh. wish you could keep them uh -oh. in real life. Uh -oh. um, so it's a lot of fun. We're opening on June 25th and that is at storefrontshakespeare.org. Uh, if you want to know what else is up with me, it's uh, ValerieMeacham.com. M-E-A-C-H-U-M. Okay. And I don't know. I'm, always, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm wherever you want to find me. I'm big old geek so I'm all over online. There we is. I'm gonna do something and, and just turn off the car to start about it. I don't wanna get the <laughs> we don't wanna get the rumble, we're gonna crack the window just a little bit. Cause we can do that on this show. We can we can throw audibles in. There the you little go. air in. Okay, you okay, okay. <laughs> you know there it is. You so, just missed the deluge here. We were wondering if we should build an arc or yeah, maybe use sour, sour apple here for an arc. We, we because it was coming to. down. Down. <laughs> And see, that's how talented and dedicated she is as an actress. She came all the way in the rain to get here. Her car is actually a boat hybrid. <laughs> hybrid. It's a Fiesta too. <laughs> Not really, but we're going to say that. Ford, right. shout out to Ford. And, uh, <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and hit him with the question. My question, I have decided because I've done some horror and I, it's, it's kind of, my, one of one of my things, is my question is what scares you? Mm, what scares you? That's a good what what do you think? Scares me? Yeah. I have well, a lot of things scare me, but I kinda of like being scared. But I have the number one thing probably ever ever since I was a little kid I had this recurring nightmare about drowning. Mm, which is funny because I, I swim really well mm -hmm. and I could swim before I could walk. I mean it was the seventies, it was a very trendy thing to teach baby to swim. Mm -hmm. Um and my parents were both like swimming teachers, so mm -hmm. I don't remember when I couldn't swim, love it, but I have this nightmare about being like in a well and it fills up higher and higher and just as I get to the top where I would be able to get out, there's a lid that slams down over it. Uh, so like if I see stuff like Titanic uh -huh. or anything where the people are, are trapped in something and the uh, water's getting higher, right. freak out. Oh. How about you? Um, well my first one would have to be jail. That would scare yeah. me. Yeah. You know, only, only because, you know, I, uh, I'm kind of a, a little guy, you know, decent looking. You put me, you know, in jail, in a real penitentiary. Not yeah, a place you want to be. No, I'm going to be doing a lot of fighting. <laughs> I'm gonna be, let's just say this. I'm gonna do everything I can to stay in solitary confinement. I'm gonna just say that. <laughs> just keep getting in trouble. I'm just gonna be punching the guard <laughs> randomly. Oh, put me in, put me in solitary, put me in solitary. Mr. Dow, stop peeing everywhere. No, <laughs> put me back, in, <laughs> put me back in solitary. And I think my other, the other one that's like you know just scary when you think about it is um, being buried alive. Oh yeah. That's I, like I'm not claustrophobic at all, but yeah. it's something about. Like if you like, I well, could and be, having these things like right against your face. Yeah, just and you can't move. You can't move. Yeah. There was there was this guy I knew in Columbus who was um, he he studied buto, which is this Japanese dance form. Okay. And it's kind of it's kind of part dance, part performance art. It's really hard to explain, mm -hmm. but he did this form of it where all the movement is very very slow and mm -hmm. it takes a long time to do. But he did this piece where he actually started out buried in his garden. Oh wow! And like came up out of the ground. And I was like, oh my God, Ralph, I could not have done that. Mm -hmm. So I am right there with you on yeah, that one. Yeah, I, I just can't do it. I I think about, you know how like, you're not afraid of heights, but if mm -hmm. you're too high up, you'd be like, mm. yeah. like that's kind of, that's one of them situations for me. Like I could never do, been that actor in, in the, was it Aliens 2 or Aliens 1? Whichever Aliens was where he was, where he was the cyborg and he had oh, to go yeah. through the wiggle mm -hmm. through. No, mm -hmm. they, I would like stunt double. 
Start, I'm not getting that little tube. And, and I just can't do it. It's something about it. Yeah. Well, and that's Lance Hendrickson and that man. Oh my God. Mm. I'm actually, I'm in, I didn't, I didn't get to meet him, but I'm actually in a movie with him called Cyrus, Mind of a Serial Killer, which oh. is now out on DVD in Australia. It's not out here yet. That's okay. But, so. um, but yeah, I, I'm like, like my dream is to actually get to have like a premiere party where I could shake his hand and think, oh my God, I am in a movie with Lance Hendrickson because he's just, for, for horror especially, he is the man. Oh, okay. The man does not sleep. He's, I mean, he's 70 something and he still makes five or six eight nine movies a year oh wow he's so busy and everyone i've ever heard of who's worked with him they're like you know, he's got all these stories and they learn so much he's just like the ultimate professional mm -hmm. so it doesn't surprise me that he would not hesitate to do that but yeah. like, no that would have got <laughs> no. me that would have got me that would have got me well i guess we, we gonna let you guys go ahead and, and come up with it what let you know scares yeah, you. what scares you Ooh. but you know what since we did find out that you do sing you know you wanna you wanna do something for us oh what are we gonna do what are we gonna do well um since it's kind of right now i'm not gonna make her get in, on in the stage we're gonna just gonna do it right yeah. here <laughs> so. let's see um somebody i'll never get to play sarah in ragtime okay a wonderful character and uh, this was uh was was originated on Broadway by the amazing Audra McDonald, and mm -hmm. I get to, I sing this in concert sometimes, but I never get to play this character because it's totally wrong for me. But mm -hmm. it's a beautiful song. Ooh, 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 ooh. Daddy played piano, played it very well. Music from those hands could catch you like a spell. He could make you love him, for the tune was done. You have your daddy's hands. You are your daddy's son. And there's a lot more of it, but we're probably running yeah, out of time. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I never knew that voice could come. Whoa. I'm going to write a musical now. So There you go. Well, yes, get check, ready. Out, check out my YouTube channel. I've a few, got a few clips on there, so you'll okay. find out what tell you need to do. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Oh, that's, it's on YouTube under my name. Everything's okay. under my name. Okay. Valerie Meacham, V-A-L-E-R-I-E-M-E-A-C-H-U-M. Did you include that? Did you include that in your bio? I think so. And there's also a link to it off of my website. I got links to the video and my blog and, and Twitter okay. and stuff. We're going we're gonna to put that up. We're going gonna to make sure. So, guys... If you didn't understand the spelling, it's going to be right under here. Because we got to get that. Yes, I'm going to write a musical now. You know, you, you guys didn't know. A lot of you don't know about me is I'm a huge uh, Buffy fan. Uh, and uh, Buffy yes. the Musical, hands down, is one of my favorite. If not the... No, that is my favorite show out of the whole series. Oh, followed was, by oh, Hush. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Yeah. And, followed and by, Hush right followed after. Followed by Hush. Yeah. Do you know Hush? Um, they, you can, and you can tell when you watch it, when they did the edit, they used as a temp track the uh, Sleepy Hollow soundtrack. Oh, my God. And you can tell just from the rhythm of it. And if you listen to Sleepy Hollow soundtrack, it's like... Now I listen to Sleepy Hollow soundtrack and I see Hush. It's, it's, just, <laughs> it's just great. It's just great. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and chuck the deuces so we don't overdo it. All day, every day. Your boy, pretty. Your girl, Valerie. We out. <laughs>